Um, so just while we're waiting for some people to get in here, I do want to talk about this really quickly. You know what I, you know what really aggravates me is whenever you go to a restaurant that's clearly trying to be fancier than they are, and they, on their menus, they put the prices for everything, but they don't put the dollar sign, so it's like grilled tilapia with lemon sauce, and it's like 12, and it, but it's not like 12 dollars, it's like the number 12, that bugs the hell out of me. And I just wanted to see if you guys had any pet peeves like that. No, I, yeah, when I went to Chicago last week, or la last month. What's up, um, guys? And I had um, that five-star steak and the five-star asparagus. <laughs> it was exactly the same way. Like, you look at the menu, and it would be like, you know, filet mignon, blah, blah, blah. And it would say, 100, like, 112. And, like, well, I'm like... For an entree? That, like... I'm like, what is, what is, what is, it's a filet mignon, Scarrow, come is, on. Is that, like, how much it weighs, or? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that, dude. And, and it's always, like, the fancy restaurants, like, Olive Garden and stuff, they have the dollar size. That's fancy? Well, I'm just saying, it's like, it's like the high school, <laughs> it's like the high school fancy. Fancy places, guys. <laughs> Sorry, like, the melting pot, let's go there, a fondue restaurant, they, they'll have the dollar signs, but it's like these pseudo- fancy restaurants that won't and it bugs the hell out of me it's like if you went to mcdonald's and they didn't do it you know what's mcdonald's what's mcdonald's <laughs> mcdonald's is the fanciest <laughs> of the fancy don't you know well they have fancy ketchup there don't they <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta love me some fancy ketchup <laughs> they just okay. add more sugar it's fancy <laughs> are right, you guys ready to start this yeah, let's go. Sure. Oh, uh, shoot. 19, right? Yes. Oh, All right. <laughs> yes. Um, 19 what? Nine dollars. Episode 19. <laughs> yeah. 19 dollars. All right, we're going to do this. Hashtag. Hey, guys. Scare9 here. Welcome to episode 19 of the Last Word Podcast. We're almost at 20. That's a pretty big milestone. Joined, always, as always, by my co-hosts, Jay-Z Basketball and Iconoclast. Say hi. Hi. So, boom, and then we have a first-time guest that we haven't had on before, Mr. Basketball Josh. Hola. And he is a uh, he's we can call him a mediocre Destiny fan. He's not he's not the biggest. Oh, thank no, you. No, I'm just messing, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today we actually have a lot of uh, good, more more ranty discussion topics than usual. We usually have some kind of new stuff to talk about, but. I feel an Icono rant coming on. I might have my own. No. I, what? What? Me? No, no I'm rant. rant. I'm, I'm actually good, man. All, the, the most recent rants have been coming out of you. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, that last podcast, you had a really good rant going. Did I? What did I rant about? Not you. Oh. Oh. Icono. Icono had oh. a really good one last time. That's, that's what happens, man. Icono's always like, me, I know rants. And then he's like, F this, F that, <laughs> blah. Um, anyways, so, um, the first topic today is going to be Destiny 2 at E3, and, uh, we're not, we're not gonna do our speculation, next week we're doing the speculation, but, um, this week I, I just wanted to talk about what will definitely be there, so, uh, it got confirmed in the This Week at Bungie this morning, that the the setup is almost identical to what we played at the reveal event. It's going to be the one strike, the one crucible mission, or sorry, the one story mission, and the uh, crucible game mode countdown. Um, but the only difference is that they will have access to the Arc Strider subclass, which is pretty cool. So I wanted just to take a second and see if you guys are at all enthused by the Arc Strider subclass. So. Uh, Let's see. Uh, let's so let's start with Josh. Josh, do you think that subclass is going to be any good, and why or why not? I don't think it'll be any different than the one they have already, other than just like changing the name and essentially giving it the what do you call it, the static perks that don't really change a whole lot because you have the one tree or the other. I don't think it'll be any different than what they have now, really. Just giving them a staff instead of blades. I mean, <laughs> okay, just making they're it not really changing cooler. it. Um, I don't even think it's any cooler. I like knives better. Like I've seen pictures of, he goes from uh, a bad A with knives to a pole dancer. I mean, <laughs> what it looks like. 
<laughs> Y'all haven't seen those pictures? Really? No. <laughs> a pole dance? Really? Uh, oh, my oh gosh, that's dude. really I, good. I would dude. disagree with. I would kindly disagree with you on that one, Josh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, <laughs> Jay Z. Go ahead. I I think they probably see the 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 data or is it data? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> from Destiny, Destiny, and see that um, the. <laughs> it's data if it's singular. It's, it's, probably... it's the data if it's plural. That yeah, just I know. I'm just playing. <laughs> it was a joke. Um, but <laughs> but uh, good joke. But I think they probably see that that's probably the least used class now, since especially since uh, Night Stalker came out. So I think they're going to revamp it quite a bit. Like I, I'm not sure. I don't want to speculate on any perks or any, anything like that. But I, I'm guessing they're going to try to make it a class that people are going to want to pick, especially since it's their new, it's like, uh, different. So they kept Gunslinger, and, but they added this one. So I think they're going to add some, hopefully interesting things to it to make people want to use it over Gunslinger in the beginning. You don't think it'll just be another revamp kind of like they did with the, um, the striker Titan or the Gunslinger where they just kind of switched it around a bit. Uh, I, I, uh, wait, no, I want to because, answer this because one. They changed. Okay, uh, yeah. No, because Absolutely. we get um, one, maybe two revamps if the Taken King class weeks are to be believed, and one new class. That'd be awesome. So I, I do not think it is a. I, I think Jay Z's point is dead on there. I had never thought about it like that. But the fact that the Blade Dancer was the least popular class for the majority of Destiny, at least two thirds of it, uh, I mean that means that they're not just gonna go do the same thing again. So I agree with him. There will be something different yeah. about it. I like that. Um, all right, I kind of really quickly. What are you? What do you think about Mr. Pole Dancer, <laughs> as we're calling him now? <laughs> um, well, we really haven't seen much of what else it can do. All we see him is pull out that pull out his pole, and then he starts you know, slapping people. With it. <laughs> I really didn't mean that. Um, oh, man. So, I'm going to stand by it since I already said it. I might as well stand by it. So, so he pulls out his pole um, oh, and he whips, he whips it around and he hits people in the face with it. But that's all we really see. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? That like we don't really see like like we don't know what grenades it has. We don't know like like everybody's got that third ability now, right? Like how the Titan has the, um, the little uh, shield that he puts up. The Overwatch shield. And um, you know, the Warlock's got the, the little healing rift and all that. What does the uh, pole dancer do? We don't know. Yeah, we so, do. He does the same thing um, as the gunslinger. He makes yeah. money. He does the he does blink, the, or yeah, not blink, the shade the step. shadow step. Yeah. Wait, are yeah. you serious? Do yeah. We know that? Yeah, they yeah, they're, that. yeah, they're, yeah. they're, they're, all, the they're all class specific. They're not subclass specific. So Which all the, cool, all the warlocks make the same rifts. All the titans make the same walls. All oh, the hunters sh- do the same okay. shade step. Yeah. Well, what I, where, where I was going with that is that, you know, yeah, Pole Dancer is not that much different than Blade Dancer, and nobody uses Blade Dancer right now, so why are people going to use Pole Dancer? Um, my, what I was going to say is that if the third ability, or if the grenades, or if just the overall playability of it changes for the better, then maybe that'll be a reason for people to pick it up besides, you know, just doing something different. But now that you're telling me that, I mean, I have no reason to pick that up then. I'm going to be Gunslinger all the way. I hate exactly. the answer. Yeah. Um, I think I think one important thing to note, and I haven't made a video on this yet, and I really should just to get the word out there before next week. Actually, I'm going to now. I'm, I'm tomorrow or Sunday or something. But either way, um, it is... It's an area of effect super. We can see in the trailer, he swings at an enemy once, and he kills like six things with one swing. It's mm-hmm. not, it's not, so He Blade, flies forward too. Yeah, and so Blade Dancer is, you know, it, it has the fly forward effect, but it's, you can't kill more than one thing with Blade Dancer with one swing. But this is a very, it's a very much an area of effect super, which will make it a whole hell ton better. So, uh, That's yeah. a good point, because you the way see he a lot of times it does that. It, it's gonna be harder to shoot him, I think. When, do you, uh, do you the think way he so? And... No headshots. When I saw that, I was thinking that maybe the head, the hitbox stays consistently, you know, like level, and the character model just moves. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you think they'll actually have the the hitbox contort like that? I what think if it's they like should. shade step? Because like when it, for well, instance, you're invincible when for a couple tech it. When when a titan, or sorry, I don't know why I just said titan. When a when a guardian uses like the void sword and it does like the kind of bend over 
thing. I don't think it's hitbox moves during that. I think he could shoot where his head was and still get headshots, if I'm that's, not mistaken. That's... But I mm. think that's more for they did because of the animation. They wanted to keep it consistent. This one, I think, because it, it because the super for the blade dancer is so easy to take down. If they still keep the shields the same that they did, similar to the blade dancer, they're gonna have to give him some kind of way to to dodge a little bit as he's flying towards the enemy. In my opinion. I yeah. Mean, no, that makes a lot of sense yeah. actually. Blade yeah, Dancer had to waste his super to try to dodge you because he had to keep it right bumper to move left and right, or else he's just easy pickings. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a really good point as well. I see. I I like that. I think that it'll be the most mobile class that we have, and uh, I'm I'm pretty excited for that. It'll be really good for like glitching out of areas and stuff. I bet. I bet the pole dancer is gonna be. <laughs> that's that's gonna be um really good for that. Um. Yeah. So the next topic that uh, we're gonna talk about, uh, that this is kind of my personal topic. I haven't I haven't told you guys about it. It's not huge. But it's something I do want to address. Um, how well, compared to other games, compared to Destiny 1, are, are we assuming that Destiny 2 is going to do? For instance, um, you know, Destiny 1, it, it kind of, I think it broke some records. It didn't, it wasn't anything huge. Destiny 2 is on track to have the largest pre-order in the history of video games. And with games, uh, Red Dead Redemption just got delayed. So that's going to be one of its competitors gone. Um, and really the only other game I can think of this year, I could be missing something huge, but I believe the only other game going against it is going to be Call of Duty World War II, which is even then two and a half months away. So, um, I, I just want to get your guys' thoughts. How well do you think Destiny 2 will do and if it'll set any records and stuff? So I want to start with Jay-Z for this one. Well, uh, depending on when the, the PC release is, because I, I know the PC is going to pull a lot of PC players over... To Destiny, because a lot of them had to play it on console. Um, but I think this is almost your new Call of Duty for the new generation, honestly. Um, it's the new Halo, is it not? It well, plays different than Call of Duty. But but yeah. it's Halo. Halo sold was Xbox only though. This is this is cross platform. This is uh, I gotcha. pulling in players from all genres, from from RPG to first person shooter to people that like single player games, like. Hopefully, if the story's good enough, especially like cr come Christmas time, uh, word of mouth and you know reviews coming out, uh, hopefully it's one of the best selling games of all time. That's what I'm hoping for because it it, it, uh, be it helps everybody out. The more people that are playing the game, yeah. So that that's my opinion. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, uh, Icono, how well do you think this game will do? Um, it's gonna set all the records. I really do think so. All of them? Um, you know this. I think I mean why not? You know I mean it's it's been up for three years. It's um it's it's hitting mainstream now. I don't know like if you guys have heard, but like um it's getting mainstream references now uh, to the point where I, there was that one TV show where they made a joke where they were like they were just listing off like exotics from Destiny. They're like you know you know it'll be a, your red death if you use your last word on this you know bad juju. Like they did that. It was like. Nobody, like, if you were just watching the show, you would have not caught it. But if you're a Destiny player, you would have caught it. It was like a random, like, NBC, like, um, S I, SVU, a Law and Order kind of show. I, th I think it um, was The Travelers on Netflix, if I'm not mistaken. And I think, oh, was it? Okay, yeah, I, I think they were betting yeah. on horses and they were the horse names. But yeah. The, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's cool. And, yeah, it was great. And also, th there's a show, um, or was it a movie, where the guy was actually playing Destiny in the movie. It was like, he was supposed to be like a degenerate. Oh, it was in Train Spotting too. Um, oh, yeah, his, his son in, was in playing movie. in the background or whatever. Yeah, I his, saw that his on son's Reddit. playing uh, Destiny, yeah. Um, so, like, little things like that. It's awesome. getting, um, it's getting mainstream exposure now, and this is exactly what happened with World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft started off small, not too many people playing it, um, and then it started getting some mainstream exposure, and then the South Park episode happened, and everybody in the world knew what World of Warcraft was. Like, literally, <laughs> it was, like, over, it was overnight. You know, you think and, Destiny's going to get it, that kind of exposure? I, I, I do. I really do think so. And I don't think it's going to be the negative kind of exposure I was, that, that I was about to say that either. I was about to say that. I think it's a lot less... Um, 
I think World of Warcraft and games like that have kind of broken the social stigma around it. I mean, still, like, if you... It's in, in normal, you know, going through high school or whatever, you know, people who play World of Warcraft are kind of like the social outcasts or whatever. But I think Destiny does this oh, in such nerds. a way where it's it's more of a... I mean, Destiny's, like, badass. Like, there's no denying that. It's 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 got some... <laughs> it's got some nerdy... Uh, characteristics but i mean there's like but it's got it's really it's more accessible it, yeah it's it's yeah. more realistic than, it's than darker it's yeah. first person shooter it's it's very well done in a way where it's kind of ingrained in a way in reality which i know is kind of weird to say in, in, the, in the game about mass time traveling robot hive species and dark magic things so but i i honestly think like it's not goblins and orcs it's it's very much sci-fi kind of stuff so um mm. i i think that it will i like that idea i hope it takes off because that would be amazing for content creators you know if if this did take off if this was the next call of duty that'd mm -hmm. be amazing but on top of that just for the community as a whole can you imagine like in in 10 years let's say you know destiny gets through the entire 10 year cycle and bungie's like holy crap we we've created a movement here we're gonna keep it going and um you know, we, we can say, like, we played Destiny 1. We were there year one. We were the OGs. <laughs> yeah, you know? at the beginning. Like, I, I think... Because if you think about it, if this game... If Destiny 2 blows up, right, then the entire reason that that happened, that that was able to happen, is because of people like us that have been playing since year one that hyped yeah. it up and gave it the initial success that it had. So I, I think that would be amazing for sure. But I also, um, like, so Call of Duty is a yearly release. Mm -hmm. Destiny is every three years, so it, it makes True. it so it's not as stale. Call of Duty just got stale yeah. really quick. It doesn't and get old as because, quick, is what you're saying? Because well, Destiny does well, get that, stale sometimes with the in-between the in between times. That can get kind of stale. I, I think yeah, they're going to fix that so with Destiny, Yeah, but you can do so much more than too, Call of Duty though. in Destiny. And, and you have to think I about really it. So. After After Call of Duty launches, after that initial like two-week period, the only thing Call of Duty is is MVP. Or, sorry, what the hell was that? PvP. Multiplayer. PvP. And, and, yeah. and zombies. Zombies <laughs> yeah. for Treyarch. All the other zombies are kind of pushover modes. But um, <laughs> they're, they're very much... Don't play them. Yeah, right? So it's, it's all multiplayer on the same 10 to 20 maps with DLC. For the entire and year. And it's the same thing too, just prestige, get to the top, get new guns. Exactly. I mean But with with Destiny it's it's raids, strikes, patrol, missions, quests, mm -hmm. DLCs, live events, new guns, just infinite and in Call of Duty there's like mate what, maybe thirty, thirty five weapons you can use total. And Destiny yeah. has like hundreds of of unique guns. And so I, I think and plus Destiny has that grindy aspect, where, as you said, the only grind in Call of Duty is prestiging to do it all over again, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And and Call of Duty doesn't Destiny have does Destiny does a great job of mixing gun games. Yeah, exactly. What's it called? It's not a MOBA. What's the other thing called? It's a, a gun game mixed with, a, a, like, an RPG M element. MMO it's a looter RPG? shooter. Looter it's shooter. what it is. And technically the name, right? But don't... Wasn't Borderlands technically a looter shooter as well? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I think yeah. what Borderlands was, was like the first looter shooter. I I in fact I think Gearbox coined that you think term. think it was the beginning. If if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, they um, did. It's awesome. Yeah, I was like, because I remember the box of Des or Borderlands one was like, "Welcome to the first MMO RPG looter shooter." <laughs> it just had like a fifty. It was like, <laughs> it's a really in depth. You want me to grab my box? It's right here. Yeah, I think it's I it's either it right Borderlands now. one or Borderlands two has something like that on the on the back of it. I have them both. Here, get them. What what do they say, Josh? Action RPG meets first person shooter in this looter shooter. Bazillions of guns for you to loot. And there you shoot. go. <laughs> See, it's like it's like a super in depth. Like people are like, oh, it's Call of Duty. That's oh, it's, a, it's an FPS. What's what's Destiny? Oh, it's a massive multiplayer online role playing game, first person shooter, <laughs> looter shooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. See, so I mean, just based on that, you can see Destiny has so much more to offer than just a basic Call of Duty thing, and the potential. Uh, yeah, the potential, and and then you have to look on like 
like Jay-Z said, it's not a yearly release, but we do get expansions every once in a while in live events. Mm-hmm. And I think as a whole, um, per year, Destiny costs around the same, if not less than like a Call of Duty, which yeah. for so much more content. So... Um, I think it's about 40 bucks a year, I believe, is what... Well, it, that's mean, depending on if you buy any of the silver coins or whatever. Oh, yeah. But let's just, oh, yeah. Let's just go for base, so an base game. Case. Let's go average. So <laughs> Destiny 1 was 60. 30 for both the first expansions. So that's 90. Taken King was 40, I believe. 140. 40, yeah. Rise of yeah. Iron was 30? Or was it 40? 30. 30. Yep, yep. So, it was 30. It was a 30. What? Shoot, I lost my place 100 was that 150 <laughs> something around there 150 60 160? 100 90, 130 130 yeah okay so 130 130 no that's not right at all for everything bad math plus this base no. game it's 100 it's 180 okay 190, 190 divided right. by three years yeah so yeah. once again that's 60, so, 60, 60 bucks a year 60 63 yeah yeah so i mean right right on par with call of duty <laughs> But you also have to keep in mind, Call of Duty, you have to pay tax. You don't, there's no tax on DLCs. So Call of Duty might even be more. So, but, but there's so much more content in Destiny. You know, there's so many more things to do than just multiplayer. And that's for three years. So I'm, I'm thinking... It's a much um, bigger game. Yeah. So I, I agree with what Icono said. I think, uh, it, I think if it hits mainstream, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So... You think we'll break right. records then? Um, I think God, that, that'd be I, fantastic. Yeah, it, it really would. I think it will break the most pre-orders ever. I, th- I they're well on track to hit mm-hmm. that. So that, I mean, that's pretty much a given. Well, p- um, PC market's gonna really help with all of this. Yeah, and that's the thing. The, the, you can't even, it. if I'm not mistaken, you can't even pre-order the PC version yet because it's only on BattleNet, and I don't think it's up on BattleNet, and it's still on track. It's to not be. been open jet yeah exactly so yeah i think it'll break the most pre-orders ever i think it would be really cool if it was the most (laughs) copies of a game sold on the launch weekend uh just because it's so important in a game like destiny to to really get out there and start grinding for that and start driving for it or else everything will be spoiled on reddit in the next day so um (laughs) but yeah i I think that's the thing you gotta think about they may it, if it's going to be the biggest game of all time, like we're kind of talking about here, Destiny has to provide what we want. Not just, you know, give us a game and then kind of let us hang. I heard, I haven't played the beginning of Destiny, but I heard you just hung out for the first five months of Destiny. You just kind of grinded and did nothing, really, from mm-hmm. what I've been hearing. Um, I just yep. I didn't come into Crota, so I didn't know. I just want to say someone in chat added it all together and it looks like it's 160, which is even less. That's only like 50 bucks a year. So Dang. still, still like. When, no, it's 120 for the first year because you got the $60 game, two $30 DLCs, another $40, 40. DLC. 90, 130. And then one, it's $170 total. It's 180. It's 170. That's 180 plus another 30. <laughs> it's 180 no, it's... total. What the hell is going on? <laughs> no, let's do it. Base game, 60. Taking King, that's 100. Yeah. That's that's 100 right there. 90. 90. No, Taking King oh, yeah, was 40. Yeah, 100, that's 100. 100 yeah. Taking plus, King was 40. Plus 60. Your one DLC was 60. And then yeah. and then um Rise and of Iron was 30. for Rise of Iron. 190. Yeah, like we said. No, 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 no. <laughs> Your one DLC was only was only 30. It was 15 each. Yeah. Oh, it's 30, 30. Yeah, yeah, it's one it's 160. We had the prices wrong. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay. I was like, I didn't pay. There's like, like a ten-minute segment of the perks. worst math ever, just like in the middle the of this. Are hard. <laughs> I'm a chemistry major. <laughs> I didn't do algebra for a reason. What is this garbage? Um, <laughs> that's but, that's that's middle school math, right? There. <laughs> Grade school math. I like how Kano's being completely silent. He's like, I knew the entire time. <laughs> uh, hell no! I, I don't. I don't do is math. It, I was about to say, is it that or is it him just being smart and saying, I'm not going to sound like an idiot. I'm going to be quiet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's more like what it yes, is. Yes, thank you, smart. HK Fire Gaming, for pointing that out. Yes, you you were very much right on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I think, did anyone not, I feel like someone didn't get a chance to respond, but if it was Josh, he did. because he Josh. Was, okay, but. Yeah. I, I, put my, I put my word in. Yeah. 
but yeah, so we're all in agreement that this is going to be a huge game. Cool. That's that's mm-hmm. awesome, man. That's good. Um, all right. Well, the next discussion I want to have, um, it's actually Icono's topic, so I'll let him introduce it. Oh, um, all right. Um, well, Mark Noseworthy, who is the um, the lead uh, for Destiny Two, he did a interview with Games Radar. And he had a little blip, a two-second comment that he made that set Reddit on fire. And it, it went something like this, because they were talking about um, having two primaries with, you know, one is what is element, the other one doesn't and everything. And, and he was making a comment that if you have two, he said having the two primaries like that will add... A possibility for special interactions or something like that is what he said it was very brief and he moved on immediately from it he didn't he didn't dwell on it he it didn't even sound awkward he just broke the conversation went to something else well of course reddit being reddit um they read into it and they said well that akimbo confirmed i'm gonna carry two <laughs> somehow <words." laughs> yeah akimbo is confirmed if i if i equip two hand cannons they both become last word and i'm a god and that's not what happened at all. Um, and it was so bad. So, I just want to point out, like, major Destiny YouTubers were putting this on their on their stuff. <laughs> Guys, mm-hmm. like, I'm not going to lie. I clickbaited that video, but I clickbaited it for the sole purpose of telling people that they need to stop. Okay? I don't have a large enough audience for any clickbaiting to be effective. I did it so I could be like, guys, stop. Just stop. If you're one of the people that did this, you're part of the problem. Just please just use your brain a little bit. Think think everything. It doesn't look like anyone in my in my um, audience was one of those people. Good, because I try to instill those values in people. You know, use your brain a little bit. Um, and it's just it's just really aggravating that people took that and ran with it. And, and yeah, so, um, you can conti- continue with your discussion, Icono, I apologize. No, I mean, well, I mean, that's basically it, is that, you know, they're, they're basically, the, the community is saying it's a Kimbo, and what that, and just in case, you know, just in case anybody doesn't know what a Kimbo is, a Kimbo is when, um, you carry a weapon in each hand, so you have, so the way the controls would work is that your right trigger would fire your right weapon, your left trigger would fire your left weapon, and you have a, um, a weapon in each hand. Uh, Borderlands does this with the Gunzerker class, Call of Duty did it with, um, uh, Pistols those, those, and those damn SMGs. shotguns. Pistols, shotguns, well, with those shotguns uh-huh. too? Model, my, model yeah, 1887s in Modern Warfare Yeah, yeah. the Model 1887s yeah. that were, that was totally I did not MW2. Yeah, that was so broken. Yeah. And um, uh, you could do it SMGs in wrong. most of them. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of fun. I'm not going to say it's not. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> since you said that, Scarrow, I'll get to that point because I was going to save that for later, but I can say that now. So one of the things that lends credence to the fact that it could mean a Kimbo is that what is one of the new weapon types that's being introduced in Destiny 2? We're getting submachine some guns. And submachine guns are very commonly used in both hands in video games. So that's the only thing that I would say gives it a shred of possible credibility in that if we're getting submachine guns now, it almost would be kind of like a waste to not let us do it. Um, I think so... having played with submachine guns and knowing that they are so powerful... I think it would be better reserved for a weaker weapon type, such as sidearms. Which sidearms have no, like, in the state they are right now, they cannot compete with anything. All right, they are, they are not good. Well, they do now because of special weapon ammo. No, He's no. Destiny I mean, 2. In Destiny, in Destiny 2, yeah. Um, yeah. I, you said right now. They, they took, like, that's what I meant. Like, the state of Destiny 2 right now, the state we played. Um, it was, like, it was like literally, like, 8 to 10 bullets to kill someone. And in a... Jeez. You know, I mean, hand cannons took around five, but still, like, they were, I mean, they're squishy. They're not good at all. Um, so, I feel like if you're going to do a Kimbo and not make it overpowered, throw them on a sidearm. Easy. Make it an exotic sidearm. Yeah. Give it some type of weird special perk. Actually, the exotic perk would be that you could dual wield them. I, I wouldn't, now that I think about it, I yeah. wouldn't expect anything else. But, um, well, the, the, the next thing I was going to say is that, um, 
having an exotic that would do that doesn't make sense because you can't equip two exotics at the same time. Wow! What if it becomes? What if it's? What if it splits in half though? Like, what if it's a machine gun that like? Splits? Like when you aim down sights. Yeah. Well, one thing. Yeah. Well, no. Well, well, one, if, one thing I thought never of is that. Aim down sight. Well, like it, when you aim down sights. That if you um if you had it um if you had this like exotic submachine gun, what it would do is it would take up both of your slots. So you would equip it mm. to your to your power or not your power to your energy slot or whatever the hell the secondary is called now. You would equip it there, but then it would gray out your primary weapon, and you could only use it become your, yeah. your, 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 So the icon for it in your menu would be two submachine guns, but you're actually only technically equipping one exotic. Yeah, that was I, just something I came up with. I like that, it, or like you could still you still technically had a primary weapon equipped. But if you had this exotic in the slot, then you couldn't switch to it. I like that a lot. Right. And what would be even cooler so, is if they made it so one of them was elemental and the other one wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you think the unique perk is going to be like if you have two of the same weapon type equipped or two of the same maybe like, um, like say future war war cult um, weapons equipped, you get a, a like a bonus like. I think Borderlands does something similar to yeah, that. Yeah, so my my thing was, this is the example I used in my video, was that in Borderlands 2, there was a, uh, a pistol called the Law and a shield called the Order. Yeah, an Order. And oh, whenever yes. you had them both equipped, you did extra melee damage, and whatever melee damage you did, like, healed you or healed your shield or something. Um, and so that's... There is definitely weapon and armor synergy there i realize that's not two weapons but i have a feeling that he was either talking about that maybe if you have like two future war call like you were saying um you do like five percent extra energy damage to minions of the yeah that'd be great or something like that what i actually think he was probably going for he was just saying if you have a hand cannon on and you have a scout rifle on guess what you can shoot people at close and long ranges you know, interesting interactions going on there. I think that's what he was going for. Um, I I mean, I could so be... So what we already knew, essentially. Yeah. You think and he just said the wrong words? <laughs> I think the thing that should have thrown the Akimbo idea off immediately, in the reveal trailer for Destiny 2, he says, we're introducing these slots in the primary and in the... Or in the kinetic and the energy slots. You can even have the same thing. And it shows a guardian shoot a hand cannon and then switch from the hand cannon and shoot another hand cannon. And I, th I feel like that clip right there should have <laughs> That's thrown what I'll be people. Doing. I, I think people should have been like, Oh, there's obviously not a Kimbo hand cannons or to that extent because they just showed it. And that's not what happened kind of thing. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I just, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, go ahead. One of the things I was thinking, because I originally went off this thinking, all right, Akimbo's not a thing. That's not going to happen. So what did he mean? So let's so let's you know let's posit some theories here. We just talked about and... that for like three minutes. Yeah, but yeah. you didn't talk about you didn't let me talk about mine. Okay, go ahead, go um, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so my theory is that it's going to be because um, we know that Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, and um, Future World Call are coming back. I swear um, to God, if you say the same thing we just said, Icono. <laughs> <laughs> that I just said, yeah. Well, what I'm it. thinking is that if you if you equip two dead orbit weapons, that it gives you like a little perk that that gives you extra. Um, I don't know what what do they call it when you rank up with your class with your uh, subclass or whatever it's called. Do you see Rep, rep. Reputation. You get, extra, yeah. you get extra reputation. So I was thinking that like, maybe you get extra reputation if you have if you kill a, an enemy when you have two dead orbit weapons equipped at once. Oh, like that's that. that's so, that's really good. That's probably the that's if they I, do anything. That's, like, like that's just yeah. one tiny little example of what I was thinking of. Or like, let's put it this way. Let's because we got foundries too, right? So mm. what if we had um, a Suros um, submachine gun? Mm -hmm. and a Suro scout rifle. And let's say that there was a special third perk that was grayed out when you equipped them, but when you equipped um, both of them at the same time, it would light up, and it would be like, um, for the submachine gun, it would be um, higher fire rate when um, a kinetic Suros weapon is equipped, or something like that. And what that would do is it would give you a reason or some sort of, like... Um, 
it would give you some sort of like reason to, to equip two of the same type of weapon. Yeah. It would, it would give you a bonus. Uh, you know, because right now, like, there's really no reason for you to use Dead Orbit gear or, or Free to Roll. Because it looks cool as hell. It looks cool, it's but there's no factions. benefit. <laughs> like, there's no benefit to it. To be fair, when, when, they this when they this made it, other conversation. When they made it, so you did have to wear though. the faction gear. People were like, "I want to wear other stuff," and then they changed it because of that. <laughs> well, I mean, like honestly, there's an argument to be made that there's no reason to do anything of the like, the, even the rep. It's all, it's all kind of pointless altogether if you really look at it uh, to join any of the factions. Like here, I am at the end of the year three right now, and I have maxed out all three of uh, the. the uh, the factions, and I honestly don't feel like I've gained anything. All right, that's that. it. We're going so... philosophical. If you look at it like that, isn't life just pointless then? We get to the end of our lives, so we're like, <laughs> we played 3,000 hours of Destiny. Go on. Well, I don't really feel like I ever got really any massive benefits for getting to rank 25 with New Monarchy. Like, what we did I get? Cool... A freaking cape? Yeah, you got the cool you got the class animation. That gives you bonus reputation. Okay, cool. So I got a <laughs> yeah, you now. got well, more what reputation. Does it do what, I, what, does it do? what does it that's do what when you I put get. it on? It gives me more <laughs> reputation than I already got. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, this, it's the whole thing was kind of pointless. And I feel like <laughs> that this, is but, this is bunch of <laughs> opportunity to like um you know oh. give us you know a reason for for using this stuff you know i, I think just as pointless <sighs> well it won't be pointless if you're using two new marquee guns and when you use them both at the same time that you get some broken interaction we always like, know that he always has the worst archetypes though i don't think that'll change yeah they do they do <laughs> but i i get i get you man i get you um i just say for looks yeah, I like I like that idea a lot, especially when they had the chroma armor. New Monarchy had the coolest chroma mm -hmm. armor for the Titan. Yeah. No, no, Dead Orbit it, Dick is if you put the black armor on with the white chroma. Mm, looks oh, so good. okay, okay, we gotta we gotta fashion. That's Josh. Josh that's just had an orgasm thing. on camera. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's oh, a one pump chunk. Man. Mm. Um, mm. <laughs> Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people in chat, specifically, I, I saw one that Caleb said, um, yeah, they really like the idea of a dual-wielded exotic. But, I, you know, like I said, it could happen. I feel like at this point, they've knocked out all the really easy exotic ideas, so they're going to have to start getting really creative with it. And um, so, so I think it might be a possibility, again, just for that reason. Um, but what we can, we'll definitely see. I mean, it's not that far away. Um but yeah, that's pretty much the Akimbo webbed topic. Does anyone else have anything else to throw on that? Or uh, Akimbo confirmed. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Wait, this has to remember, stop. All right. <laughs> Akimbo slice. There's two eyes. <laughs> Does Akimbo actually no, have two it. eyes in it, or was that just a typo? No, it has two eyes. Two A K I I M B O. But... As I was telling you guys before we started, like I listened to that twice through from the the weapons point, and I did not get a Kembo at all from that. It's dude, fact, someone was, was like, like this it's wishful thing. thinking. Reddit here is wishful everything. thinking. Reddit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reddit oh, knows Was it all. a subliminal message in the background? Yeah, like, yeah. It's Mark Noseworthy. If you okay. listen to him, he says um yeah. and you know a lot. And if you actually, yeah. if you took the intervals of that, it was actually Morse code, and it was a Kembo weapons. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, so that's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> but people read into it. I just next time that happens, I was telling you guys, I actually had a video recorded, an alternate video that was just one big rant for me, going like, "This just has to stop." People read into stuff, and it doesn't even make sense. Um, so next time something like this happens, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna put up the rant video, and I'm just gonna deal with it. But it's just like. <laughs> irritates me man it just it's very irritating sometimes but uh, i always rant first and act, ask questions later yeah exactly man that's how you do it um all right jay-z i know you had something you you suggested so i'll let you bring up that one too sorry josh i didn't tell you to come prepared with the topic because quite frankly i forgot you were gonna be this up. is like class but uh <laughs> i know you did i'm not i'm not gonna cry about it no it's all good i you shouldn't cry about <laughs> well, it i should cry for being a terrible host I was like, hey, Josh, can you can you spend time doing this for terrible people? Terrible friend is really what I would do. 
<laughs> I just squeaked, dude. I thought we were buddies. Oh, no. Just ditch me. Okay. Uh, Goodness. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> we've had a lot of speculation within our own clan of when they showed the weapon mod slot on guns. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we have no... Because they didn't have any of them equipped, or nothing equipped in those slots for mm -hmm. you guys. Basically, the speculation is, what do you guys think that slot will let you do? Um, I, I'm thinking it's not going to be cosmetic, so how do you think it's going to give the gun improvement, or um, give you an ability, or... or or what? Do you, or do you think it'll give you an elemental? Uh, so, um, I guess we'll go with Josh first on that one since he was last. Nope, Ooh. Josh gets first. Okay, fine. fine. Uh, well, I mean, if Scarrow has something he wants to say, I don't want to ruin uh, it for him. I mean, it's, I, I, mine will take Scarrow? all the discussion out of it. So, go ahead, Josh, go ahead. Yeah, you, th you think it'll ruin it? No, I won't well, ruin it. I just, I like going last easy. because I can knock down everything. But then I hate going last at the same time because sometimes you guys have my same really good ideas. And I'm like, should have went first. Because then jay going to be like, oh, that's a really good idea, Josh. And I'll be like, no, that was my idea. But <laughs> well, I doubt I have any good ideas. I really haven't thought much about it because I did. I saw it at the at all the videos that I watched from it. I saw the mod slot, but I really just looked at it and thought it was just going to be another artifact type thing. that's just going to edit your weapon instead. Like it'll give you... Um, like ornament? Well, I mean, mean or... the the perks, not an ornament, Oh, okay, the, okay. The perks that you get, like, um, I don't know, <laughs> bonus damage to take in or whatever, that kind of stupid thing. That's what I initially okay. thought. Oh, was like, that's, well, that's just another... Yeah, that's, that's really, really good. good. Like, yeah. That's really good, actually. Yeah, because then you can specify... You... Yeah. yeah, that's kind of... That was my first thought, and I was like, well, that's not that much fun, but I can see its usefulness. Bring back Shankburn. <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah, but you, I get, still you, you would get to it. pick what you want to put on that weapon, so you could yeah, if you and have I it in a, a specific instance. I mean, I I, I am, but I, if I I'd like it to be something more substantial than that. Better than that. But well, that's I, why I wasn't too excited. Yeah, that's, I just kind of figured that's what it was. was but that'd like, be oh, a cool really thing cool. to do because I could I could take the weapons and and you know use them even more in specific instances than I already do. Yeah. So yeah, have, have one of each weapon perfectly god rolled, but one for each. Enemy class like bonus damage to everything, just yeah. like, like your inventory is just twelve of the same gun, <laughs> <laughs> with the different burns on it. With yeah. different, with each one, yeah. yeah, you have one for each burn, and like, well, each burn has a different faction, kind of thing. So like, yeah, an arc sword. Is, like, you only Kamal. need one. The way I'm looking at it is that you only need one gun. You would you would have one awesome. Oh, you'd be able to gun, switch that out, and that you okay. would. Oh, you, you think would the mod's have, not permanent? You would have a mod that says, you know, Vex Decimator or something, or Cabal Destroyer, and you would take that mod and you would flip it out in between your weapons. I kind of so what happens keep... whenever you change chroma colors? It disappears. It disappears. It goes away. In Destiny That's 1. That's what I was wondering. This, ain't, this is not Destiny 1. No, but what are the. It's Destiny 1.5, says Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's Reddit true. says a lot um, of things. <laughs> Kimbo weapons confirmed in <laughs> Destiny 1.5. Yeah. That's what I'm going to name this video now. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I figured that would be the grind. You know, once you get your once you get the gun that you want, then the grind would be, all right, let me get all the mods that I want now, too. I like so, that. And, and that. And that also helps with mm -hmm. uh, vault space, too, because you don't have to have 20 of the same gun. You can just have one badass gun, and then you have, like, you your vault full of, um, full of mods. So it helps the vault well, so do you, but then that's do you think gonna it's going to be like Josh said, or do, you, or do you have an idea of what it could be? Well, well actually, actually, what Josh with... suggested is is the one is what, what I was going to suggest too. But I had one other. Okay. I was thinking, um, it would be not like an ornament where it changes like like the um, the actual look of the gun, um, but like more of like a shader. Um, what if it did okay. change the look of the gun though to specify like? You put on the Vex damage thing, and it makes it a little bit more Vex-like. What if it adds that? That way you can that's, have that's a brilliant damage idea. and look. That's really if good. If it's damage doing all that, I gotta awesome. think that that, or, that that mod's gotta have to be exotic. That's a lot, because now we're doing more damage, and we're drastically changing the look of our gun. Look. I gotta assume that that's gonna be exotic, right? Yeah, that's uh, not no, gonna be not legendary. Just if it's a cosmetic thing. On yeah, top if of it's the just, yeah, if it's cosmetic, it's not a big deal. I mean, it depends. We'll see. Um, 
they make us pay for cosmetic things all the time. Why not give us a <laughs> cosmetic oh, yeah, that's a good with reason. Our... That's how you bring back yeah, bonus. Ah, oh, yeah, there, there's your silver dust. Yep. Oh crap! That's the mods are our silver dust essentially. <laughs> no, remember silver dust not, is confirmed. No, they, they said pay, it's not returning. It would be designing. gold dust. It's Destiny Two. We upgraded. <laughs> um, Cold. Is it my turn? Can I go now? Can I say what I think it is? Yes, go. Yes. Uh, Jason, so, go. Uh, Josh, do you have any retorts on Icona? Oh, no, I'm just playing Scar. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, if you look at the weapon cards in Destiny Two, the very top perk on them. It's always, it's got like a little symbol next to it. It's kind of like, for instance, okay. um, the sniper we were using, it was Viced, and it said the shots can be fired more quickly, and it had a larger magazine or something like that. Um, and it, it had a very specific symbol next to that perk. Like, I mean, the perk, so like Outlaw has like the, uh, the circle things. Um... This was like, but it was like a solid white block. And each weapon, pretty much, that we played with had one of those solid white blocks that were just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And I think those are the weapon mods. Perk. You think it's perk additions then I to think, your gun? I think they are perk additions. I also think that they are faction exclusive. Um, for instance, you Ooh. you can make vice weapons fire as fast as you want, kind of like Jacobs in Borderlands One. Or Borderlands 2, yeah. excuse me. But that would not be applicable to a Vanguard weapon. Um, so, like, maybe, okay. maybe Vice that has the legit. ability to put a miniature thorn burn. Or um, just because it looks all spiky and stuff. That's where my logic is there. You know, you can fire as fast as possible. And then Dead Orbit has, like, you can reload faster. Oh, I saw one. There's a new perk on SMGs. Um where you can hold X, or you, yeah, you hold X and you reload faster, uh, but it drops the entire magazine out of the gun, so you permanently lose what ammo is left. I have seen that. Yeah, so... Um, well, I thought that was on all guns. Was that only on the ones? I thought it was on all guns like that, because they said if you reload, you lose the ammo you had. Um, no, that was... I thought that was on all guns. That's no, the no, way no. I heard it. No, but... that was that was okay. definitely a perk, because I remember seeing the perk. I feel better. Um, so maybe, if it isn't faction exclusive, it'll be weapon type exclusive. So, like, SMGs, you can drop the ammo. Um, or, you know, you have a selection of weapon type mods for that. Um... That's, that's what I'm thinking. I think it'll be a very in-depth customization system that isn't too game-breaking that, um, yeah. that, that'll add some diversity to what... And, you know, you'll want to use these. So you'll have to make an important decision. I think with, with these subclasses being shifted the way they have, where there's two specialty nodes, um, or clusters of nodes, rather, I feel like they're really putting emphasis on making... You know, they want decisions to matter. You're no longer going to get... A weapon and have a choice between like oiled frame and rifled barrel you know like that's a very obvious choice uh you're gonna go with the the rifled barrel so i think what they're they're going for in destiny 2 is all of your decisions are going to matter more to the way you play and i think uh this will be a big part of that but did they take away yeah. a lot of our decision making on things like that such as uh oh crud on our subclasses they pretty much took away our decision making they're just saying you can either have this or this there's well if really you think about it in that. there's not really like more than two builds that people use on anything already for gunslinger there's the crucible build and then there's the destroying the oversoul build <laughs> and that's like that's that's what you use void walker you have the infinite grenades or the life steal for self-res you know you have the um either you're gonna self-res or you're not gonna self-res it's it's very or Viking funeral, you know, you have the raid perk too. It's yeah, I was gonna not, about Viking funeral or yeah, extreme solar grenades. I can think of multiple classes that I use. I, but it's it's the kind I of guess thing like might be the exception. They're they're not destroying it, or they're they're not. If if all of the perks in Destiny One were viable, I would agree with you. But that's just simply not the case. No one runs Angel of Light. No one runs Solar Wind. No one runs. But they're giving us Angel of Light. <laughs> I, yeah, they're forcing. I that found one. that ironic. I don't like. I that know. One. I found that ironic that nobody uses it, and then they're like, "Here, have Angel of Light." Yeah. We really don't have a choice. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's what I think. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like that that idea. Especially, I like the idea of weapon specific ones. 
Um, because I, I figured that they were going to give us weapon mods, because I, that, that's, I didn't even think about like what Josh said earlier, and that makes sense too, but um, I, it's obviously not going to be anything overpowered, like, you know, all the Trials um, perfected weapon not perfected, but the Trials weapons that Adept you weapons. the Lighthouse have... Yeah. Adept, mm -hmm. yeah, have snapshot on them. Remember when they or, had Last Resort know, like, on them? Last Resort was really yeah. good. That was really good. Especially but, for Trials, yeah. Yeah. I never yeah. used it. <laughs> but I, I, well, that's because you're never in the last slot, Josh. Aren't... Oh, shit. Oh, it's because I, I never played Trials. <laughs> you to carry me to the lighthouse. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I can see them giving, like, base perks like that that aren't going to overpower the weapon. Or maybe like a faster reload speed or, or something like that. Yeah. Um, that's not going to give you overpowering perks, but will let you add something special to that weapon to to push it over the edge a little bit. Yeah. I think. I'm I'm actually kind of curious. I didn't hear Icono um, say anything during that explanation. I'm just wondering if he likes that idea or not. What idea? I, I retorted. Did you? To mine? Which idea are we talking about? Mine with the... Oh, to your Scarabs. idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean... I don't know, I like mine better, but yeah, yeah, I like yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay then. Okay. Mine's definitely better. Oh, uh, fine, fine, yours is better, man. I, uh... <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I take that I'm out. glad you got that on recording, because I don't hear Scarrow say stuff like that often. There's no uh, sarcasm in his voice. Wait, wait, wait. This is on the internet. This is uh, not yet. Oh, I guess Everything it is. I guess it is. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, have, to, I'll have to edit yeah. it out in the final. So it's a fact. It's on the internet. <laughs> um, so I just I just want to touch on something. Uh, Blue Jay Universe in the chat says, I hope one day we will be able to customize our weapons sort of like Call of Duty. And Greninja immediately was like, no, don't do that. I am with the no, don't do that crowd, but I'm very interested to hear Same. what you guys... Okay, well, Josh is with me. Jay-Z and uh, Icona, would you... So, want... like, as far as customizing, are, are we talking... Because, like, I, I would like to be able to, like, go, say, turn in 20 weapon parts and change the sights. Say I get a perfectly rolled hand cannon, or not hand cannon, because hand cannon sights all look similar. Say I get a perfectly rolled um, pulse rifle, and I like everything, but I hate the sight. And like I wouldn't mind being able to to pick a site like if I mm -hmm. paid weapon parts or or something like that. But that's only sight. I'm not talking like perk rolls. I I think um, he, I think he was more going for the perk rolls as in a different attachments would make guns better or worse. Yeah. Oh okay. He's thinking attachment type things is like, what I kind of heard I, it as. Like so, what if you're only allowed to add one attachment, not not counting the sight? Isn't that what a weapon mod is? Still no. Well, no, like an attachment such as okay, yeah. <laughs> I guess, like, what did they have? Like laser sights on Call of Duty. Um, grenade launchers. Grenade. Yeah, like well, that. I went with like um, grenade launchers. What's the like, stability thing? The the master key, the grip. Um, Fitted stock. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, I mean, Black Ops, you could have a flamethrower. So he doesn't <laughs> want any any perk boosting attributes, like no faster reload, no faster <clears throat> aiming down sights, nothing like that on it. Is what he's saying then? Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much that. Um, you want to go to the community input, or does anyone have anything else to throw in there, or? No, I mean, we got a lot of people talking in the chat. Let's see what they got to say. Yeah, a lot of people. All right, I'm scrolling up to the top. Let me see. Let me see. Before anybody asks, I'm taken. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the Friday the 13th game is also coming out. When does that launch? It's already out. Isn't it? It's already out. It's, it's on, no, it's yeah. on Twitch. It's all not time. out. Yeah, it's let's, out. Let's yeah, play it just. I've been. Get... I watched the Let's Play guys play a beginning of it, and they said this comes out when, and it was like oh, early next week. I think beta then, for the public. I had a yeah, guy it's for the public. My like, friends like, or uh, okay, so I mean, it still comes out before Destiny Two. So, um, yeah, I've already go... seen gameplay of it. It looks fun, scary but fun. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it came out last week because I was getting spammed by one of my friends to play the game. Like he was doing, looking for gr group posts. 
Yeah. Well, it's always um, yeah. towards the top of the Twitch directory, so I just assumed it was out. Really? So, so Zestia yeah. just yeah. said, I wish it's Armor out. and Destiny had the same effect as Borderlands Law and Order, not the weapons. So I think he's going for, like, having a completed set, you get bonuses. Would you guys like to see that? That'd be fantastic. Yes. Okay. And so say you have a full so set the, of the Raid getting Armor. What's the full set right now? What, what if you have a full set of Wrath of the Machine armor, what bonus would you get? You do more damage more damage to Fallen, or more damage in that raid, I guess, probably. Okay. We already kind of have that, the, though, more damage to the certain people, don't we? Yeah. Well, but they might take like, that away. I'm, I'm just saying, oh, like, okay. they could change that whole prospect of that to just, you have the full set, you do more damage to enemies in the raid, mm -hmm. not bosses. Gotcha. Let's, let's so just how, do, let's just do normal around, enemies. Then. Like I think so. Typically, full sets like are pretty broken. The, the, like like I'm just thinking like Injustice too, because I'm playing that right now, and I just got um two pieces of gear for Dark Side. It's a it's part of a set, and the set pieces go up to four. And there's different tiers. If you have two pieces, there's a first tier, three pieces gets another tier, so on. I have two pieces right now, and even that's pretty broken. I I get like an extra 200 damage to my strength. And it just makes you a little bit OP, especially when you're playing against the computer. Online, not really so much, because people online that play have high defense. But against the computer, I mean, just at, just at level 2, this, this, these two pieces of gear are already kind of broken. Okay. So, like, if, if I, when you get to 4, it gives you 500 extra um, strength. And that's, like, more than double what the level 2 gives you. So... I'm telling you right now, level two is already broken, so level four is going to be insane once I get them. So I guess what I'm saying is that I feel like just extra damage against, you know, SIVA or whatever, I don't think that's enough. I feel like it's got to do something where, like, like all headshots create Firefly or um, all grenades do, okay. you know, all, all grenades spit out um, wolf pack rounds or oh, something. Oh, that might be <laughs> extremely <laughs> overpowered. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, that would be think overpowered. Of, like, well, you know, if if you're gonna well, if you're gonna make someone grind, keep in mind this has to go in crucible gear. as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking if you're gonna make people grind to get four different pieces of gear, once they finally get to that top of that mountain, it better be like worth it, you know? It better not just be like, oh, you get extra damage against Cabal. Oh, thanks. You know, I don't know. I just I just feel like it. I feel like it almost. I feel like it almost should be broken. Okay. Well, I guess if everybody's broken, then nobody's broken. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's everybody's... What Border... That's what Borderlands is. But you gotta think but about Borderlands also does too, have a Destiny too, or not Destiny? Just Destiny in general. Well, don't they really? They play more towards the the not hardcore gaming community. Because when we go into a raid as the hardcore gamers, that is not hard anymore. Like we're done. Mm -hmm. But to the regular gaming community, don't they really base their game more off of that a lot of the time? Yeah. So if they did that. The majority of their gamer base is basic gamers, not really the hardcore gamers like we are. So if we get our hardcore broken stuff, we are just going to run all over those people who don't have the hours to put into it and get like one piece or really maybe two if they're lucky, you know? Yeah. So if they do that, then they are basically saying what they haven't been saying this whole entire time. Forget the little guy. Because this entire time they've been telling us we're, car we're caring for the little guy. And if they did that, then it's like shoving it back in his face. I like I I like that point a lot actually I like that. Yeah, I don't think that that they're gonna make them if they do do that. I said do do, if they do if they do that. <laughs> How old are you, Jay Z? Set pieces, uh, five. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Three. No, okay, forty-five. Um, <laughs> Seventy. <laughs> five and a half. Um, so, um, but if, if the, yeah that. Because that was my idea. They're not gonna make something that's a that's a huge bonus, but I think it it rewards players that like to collect uh, specific gear sets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's like there's no reason to collect gear sets right now. I mean, because they look I cool just select so. whatever makes me. I I don't know higher, if that's necessarily uh, true because in the Wrath of the Machine, the Wrath of the Machine armor has perks that are really good. I yes. In, in other raids, I will. Are agree we talking with about you. all armor in general? Yeah, We're yeah, I, I know. Set. I'm just saying if they, about if, they go, if they go the route of armor is really good, all pieces of armor are really good for specific situations, I don't care. But if if we continue to get, like, cosmetic sets, then I do. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. 
don't need yeah, anything else and, cosmetic. And, and, well, I think the vault helmet actually gives you it, headshots can spawn up, uh, or not headshots, but critical hits. Critical, critical kills hits can cause Vex. an orb. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, there you go. I actually, I actually have that on. Um, yeah. All right, next next topic is also by Zessia. He's killing it. He's got a really good one. I feel like customizing guns' appearances should be earned. If you want an ornament, complete a section of a book and then get that certain ornament. Doing this should also unlock mods. Um, I don't know about the mods, but I like the idea of having certain skins for armor and weapons based on your achievements. I think that's a really good idea. Um, say so you're like, talking about like whenever you get the 10,000 kills, you get a gold gun, essentially, is what we're uh, talking about. For I, was the, think, I mean, yes. Isn't that, that a that would apply. Warfare thing? I was thinking more like um you know you get the necrochasm but if you beat crota 50 times then you get the moon devourer ornament devourer of moons ornament um something to <laughs> something to really show that um you that know, you put your time in yeah exactly so I, okay I, I so like essentially idea. like time gated not time gated that's a bad word just no just you put your time in you get your rewards like like in overwatch i don't i've i've played like three games of overwatch ever so i could be wrong on this mm -hmm. but i believe once you get more kills and stuff you unlock new skins for your players and stuff just to show that you've put a lot of time into that player so gotcha. that, that, that kind would be of nice thing. yeah that that kind of thing i like that really because for those of us that have put in the 2000 hours you know yes yeah exactly grimoire is the only thing that tells the difference and they're getting rid of grimoire so yeah. Um, That's so sad. What do you think? What do you think, Jay Z and Icono? You like that or? Yeah, I mean, and anything that can differentiate my character from somebody else's is is a good thing. I think, um, like like I said before, um, year one, uh, Vault of Glass Crota, everybody looked the same. Like to get to max light <laughs> level, you had you basically you had to be mirror images of each other with a different shader, and that was otherwise you want the max light. That is cool. Yeah, so uh, I I would like to have more options to look different than my fellow guardians, even if we're running the same armor sets. Yeah. Right. I mean, my my thing is is like I don't really care what I look like. I just want my gear to do something when I earn it. So yeah. like right now, I'm playing on my hunter. I got a full vault of glass set on my hunter. She looks beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my hunter, um, but. Seriously, How like, much what do does it do her? for me? <laughs> like, what, like, what, what did I get for running all these vaults? Uh, you know, like, I, I, I'm no, I mean, I'm no Jay Z. I don't like to raid every week, so you know, the vault of glass is relatively painful for me to do. So, I wasn't having like a blast playing all those raids to earn this gear, but I earned it and I did my time. And now that I have it, I feel like, okay, cool. Now what? You know, so. <laughs> I don't know if if I had like if you had unlocked all four pieces of this gear, and it it gave you an ability to be able to spawn a minotaur that fights alongside you. Like okay, now we're talking. That's a pretty broken ass ability. I'd love to have that on my side. You know? I would just like to point you, out you have that people ability. people it's thought the exact same thing uh, with with that ornament or that relic that lets you do that, but then it turned into the biggest nuisance ever. So, <laughs> when you're doing a raid, you punch one, and then you have to punch him again. That way, you can move to the next point. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Thanks, Tisk. <laughs> <laughs> he ruined that for us. Yes, yes, and he always does it. He still always runs the thing. He doesn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It would be nice if he didn't punch stuff, but you know. <laughs> That's all Tisk does. Oh man! All right. Um. Yeah. That's that's all the community stuff I saw. Um. It looks like I was wrong about the Overwatch skins. It seems like they all just come from the boxes. I could have sworn there were skins that came from kills and stuff, but maybe that was Battleborn. That might have been Battleborn. Now that I think about it. That sounds correct because that was the game that flopped, right? Yeah. That that was the Borderlands three, or the thing that yeah. took Borderlands three's place, was the uh, the Battleborn. Just sad. Just sad. Don't worry, they learned. They I learned. wanted Borderlands. I haven't even played Borderlands three, but after I've watched enough of the gameplay or Borderlands one, Neither have, actually, nobody's played Borderlands I just three. Want to, I, yeah, I know. I caught myself. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I got it. Oh, <laughs> Borderlands the pre-sequel? No, I'm ready. I haven't played any of them. I own Borderlands one and two because I intended on playing them. I played Borderlands one for about 
an hour and a half to two hours, and it just killed my anything I wanted to do because it's so slow in the beginning. It just killed it. I was like, I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah, do Borderlands so 2 is a lot better. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know. I'm, I have no love for it anymore. I just, no love. All right, well, whenever Borderlands 3 comes out, you'll be right there with us, buddy. You'll yep, be... I'll play with you guys. Yeah. Although, I'll be the one going, what does this mean? What is this? And you'll, I'll be the new. It's, don't worry, Borderlands, Gearbox has never been good at telling stories, so you won't, you won't no. miss out on anything. <laughs> but they're pretty <laughs> hilarious. I don't, about, I don't care about stories. I just want good gameplay and good guns. That's all I care about. Then Destiny is the game for you, my friend. Yeah. Exactly. Why do you think I'm on it all the time? <laughs> so, see, see, Josh, Caleb just pointed out Battleborn failed because they released it a month before Overwatch. I would just like to point out that I don't think anyone yep. knew what the hell Overwatch was before it released them. Yeah. I don't remember any talk about Overwatch. And then the week it released, everyone was like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing! And uh, Overwatch put out... I heard some streamers uh, talking yeah, about it because was... it was a blizzard. I was trying to think, I don't remember the exact number, but Overwatch put out like three or four times the amount of advertising that the other one did. That Battleborn? Are you and kidding me? What, I saw Battleborn everywhere. Yeah. I didn't see See, I, I never saw Battleborn. I saw Overwatch because I would watch, um, who I watched King of Thai and then on YouTube, whenever I was watching my Destiny content from My Name is Bye for Datto. I saw Overwatch. I did not see Battleborn. The only time I saw Battleborn hmm. was when Gathian started playing it. And yeah, he was it wasn't good. Very I played, the, that I played the, the beta for Battleborn, and I was like, wow, this is what we get? Seriously? <laughs> but it's all right. Is it just a, like a first-person MOBA? Uh, I mean, essentially. I don't even know if it's first-person. I don't, I don't remember. I, I, like, I saw it one time. And I think it was like over the shoulder. Maybe there was a little bit of both. I don't remember. It's been so long. But this is a Destiny yeah. podcast. Oops. <laughs> Not a mobile fan. No, nah, no, nah, it's all good. I, it's more of a video game thing. We talked about the Xbox One too. I'm fine with that. Plus, it's at the end of the show. So, But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be this week's show. It's been over an hour. I think we're about good. Um, next week, I think we're going to do a hell ton of E3 speculation. And I have a little... Yep. I have another topic I want to talk about too, which I will not tell you guys as I always don't. <laughs> there we go. Good job. Um, I do it. One time One time I told Icono the topic and then we get in there and oh, this, this show was over and like, down. it was like, he was like, <laughs> well, if, if you would have told me or if you would have asked me the questions right when you told me the topic, I'd, I'd probably rant about it a little bit, but I'm just not feeling like it right now. I was like, all right, that's it. I'm, I'm never telling you the topics again. <laughs> and, and honestly, that would have been an epic rant. Because like, when you told me about it, I was still at work. And I remember just sitting at my desk at work, just fuming. Like, oh, I'm going to really, I'm going to, I got this to say, I got this to say. This rant's going to be rated R. I was like, r like ramping myself up. I was, it was going to be epic. Then by the time I get home and got on the podcast, I was like, meh. Over it. <laughs> it's it's not that bad. You, no, just wait till this. You went too right. hard too early. Too yeah. hard too early. Right. So that's why I I don't I don't like to tell them my topics ever. <laughs> well, you can tell me. I won't be here. How do you know? Text me later. <laughs> um, I will be in the place where I grew up because my sister's having a baby shower because her baby is due in July. I so was I'm going, going to make baby an extremely adult joke, but I'm not going to because we are on YouTube now. So. Uh, I'll wait till we end the <laughs> Tell me later. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> so um, that was that was uh, episode 19. I Yeah, we agreed it was 19. Um, episode 20, yes. E3 speculation. This should be pretty fun. I'm, and, and we'll throw in GamesCon speculation in there as well. But um, yeah, so make sure you guys come by next week. I'll have this up on Monday for anyone who didn't see the full episode. And yeah, so thank you guys for joining. Um, joined, like I said, by Icono. Do your thing. You can find me at XX Iconoclast on Xbox Live and on Twitter. Jay Z. Jay Z Basketball 25, and hopefully by next week I will have a Twitter created. I don't know. We, we might dip our toes in it. It might happen. <laughs> and You're Josh, tired. don't feel pressured to to do anything if you don't want to, but uh, it's up to you. Just say. I have no social media, so there you go. Do you want to say your gamer tag, or are you cool? Oh, my name is Basketball Josh. Boom! There you go.
There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Scare9. If you guys are watching this, you know where to find me. Um, if you are interested in more of these episodes, go follow me on Twitter as well, at Scare9. Uh, I do updates on when we're going to record and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much episode 19. Like I said, next week should be pretty fun. A lot of Destiny 2 content coming here soon. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining today, and we will see you next time. Peace. Peace.